7 Commanders, I'm Tyron, and in today's video, I give you my Cicada, a little ship built to get the best out of Odyssey. For the concise among us, the Cicada can jump 71.14 light years, carry two SRVs, and a full complement of weapons. Her build can be found in the video's description down below. Further, I'd like to take a moment and let you know that I've created a playlist for my tailored builds towards added organization and focus. Ship Consideration The Cicada is meant to jump far and land small. To this effect, the Diamondback Explorer's chassis was selected as it can accommodate a superior jump range, ideal weapon conversions, and utilities that are key to function. Core Internal Selection The Cicada is held together with a lightweight alloy engineered with grade 5 heavy duty along with deep plating, yielding zero mass and added protection. This is augmented with a 3D life support engineered with grade 5 lightweight. Keeping the Cicada buzzing is a 4A power plant engineered with grade 5 low emissions and monster enabling this ship to stay cool during deep corona scooping and jumping. The power is managed with a 4D power distributor engineered with grade 5 charge enhanced and stripped down. Another power hungry component is the Cicada's 3D sensors engineered with grade 5 lightweight, reducing the mass and increasing the jump. Keeping the Cicada agile are its 4A thrusters engineered with grade 5 dirty drag drives. Coupled with its distro, the thrusters grant a perma boost just shy of 500 meters per second, allowing for an expedited break of mass lock. Moving on to the jewel of the Cicada is its 5A dual engineered FSD with increased range and fast boot with mass manager as an experimental kicker. Combined, these grant the Cicada a jump range of 71.4 light years. The FSD is perfect for traversing any bubble of activity, as the fuel scoop was not touched. But more on this in my video here. Utility Mount Selection The Cicada houses a heatsink engineered with grade 5 lightweight for the rare spikes in heat while operating. Additionally, the Cicada is protected by three surface mounted point defenses engineered with grade 5 lightweight poised to take down enemy projectiles of a varying nature. Hardpoint Selection For precision, the Cicada is armed with a 3C beam laser engineered with long range and thermal vent. This allows the Cicada to surgically take on targets out of range of settlement defenses. For area of effect, the Cicada uses two 2B advanced missile racks engineered with grade 5 rapid fire and overcharged munitions so that it can take care of human NPCs and be refit on the fly for whatever else comes its way. Optional internal selection. The Cicada needs to operate in space and on ground. 
towards its jump range, the Cicada boasts a 4A fuel scoop and a 3H Guardian FSD booster. For planetary mapping and circumvention, the Cicada uses an enhanced detailed surface scanner, a Super Cruise Assist, and an advanced docking computer to lower cognitive load on those deep travels. While on land, the Cicada uses a 4G planetary vehicle hangar that can house two SRVs for those vehicular mishaps. Covering the Cicada is a 3D shield generator engineered with grade 5 enhanced low power and stripped down as this shield is just strong and light enough for operation. The Cicada tapers this section off with a 1F corrosion resistant cargo rack, granting the commander the ability to house whatever they may find on their journey. But that is a story for another time. Wrapping up, Commanders, this has been my Cicada. My thoughts on the best ship for any solo commander in Odyssey. I thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the black.